Yeah, I've had, I've had the pleasure of uh, working with some of the most talented cats in the world. And there's a chemistry that formulates when you work with these guys on this caliber. Sorry. <laughs> So you're going to be engineer producer too, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> you know it. Uh, Doug Williams, executive producer, <laughs> engineer, <laughs> saxophonist, <laughs> flautist, uh, arranger, arranger <laughs> lyricist, <laughs> poet, poet, <laughs> vocalist, <laughs> all those good things. Yeah, man. That did uh, stop. There you go. The Renaissance man. <laughs> uh, of the 90s for sure. <laughs> I get my ideas from poems and actual situations uh, in life's journey, so to speak. Music is to be enjoyed, and we have a good time uh, recording and you know joking, and, but also on a serious vibe to make sure the music is precise and on point. I've been in various uh, studios in my musical career, and I'm here with just trying to uh, critique a certain tune, you know, the timing has to be right and the uh, tempo. You know, most people don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but it's very critical you know, that you get things right, the timing and the uh, things like that. Uh, this is my good friend Kenny Keller. We've been knowing each other for a good while. He's a uh, very, very, very good bassist. He plays uh, acoustic bass, electric bass guitar. And um, I had the pleasure of traveling with him to uh, Dusseldorf, Germany, to do a concert. And he's a, a great guy, he has a great spirit. And we were working together on some songs. And his Bob Bob Bobby Crowder, he's an exceptional person, like I said before, uh, exceptional, exceptional percussionist. And we worked together and did a lot of things. And, you know, like I said, we laugh and joke, we have a good time. My man Kenny with his shirt. <laughs> I think his shirt cost me about 40 bucks, but it's all good. <laughs> you know, uh, we're very close. You know, we have a close relationship. Out of everybody in the band, we have, you know, very close. It's a bond that you have. But when we get together and play the music and, and, and produce, we're all one happy family and we do things in the proper perspective. And here I am, uh, just having a good time. Like I said, you know, you have, in, this, in this business, you have to keep a sense of humor in order to keep your sanity, because music is very, 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 uh, it's, it's physical and it's also uh, mental, <laughs> you know? So we're just jamming and having a good time. A t-shirt I got somewhere along the line, and we're just joking around and making sure the mix is right. It's Mama Nia Bay. She's an exceptional singer, and we're just going over a tune and doing some voiceovers to make sure the tune sounds right, laughing and joking with my man, Ampka Uhugo, and I was just mocking him. <laughs> the way he was projecting his voice, you know, it's all good. But we just have a good time, and, and it, it comes out on the stage, it comes out, you know, when we're uh, traveling and, and, and having, having problems, we talk to each other and things work out. We just do what we had to do in order to make everybody function properly, you know, keep the, the machine well oiled so the production and the sound comes out well. So everybody, if, when you sit down and listen to the, the sounds, you know that, wow, these guys are really um, one unit and uh, the professional and everything's coming out well and you can hear it. We just had to do what we have to do to be positive. How to eat to live their foods that kill their foods that heal. How to eat to live their foods that kill. As I said, uh, the music is a joyful noise, and that's where my band gets its name from. For it's a joyful noise to be continued. And that's the name of my unit, to be continued. And it, should be continued on and on and on and on. Um, when I was in Germany with the Griots, I had the pleasure of working with some poets, uh, the Griots. They were storytellers and they told, uh, explained to situations that were happening around the world and everyday 
everyday life situations. They invited me to participate in their project and we had a good time and I really enjoyed the, the flight and everybody was beautiful and the, the leader of the band, uh, Amka Uhuru, bought me a passport and then we got on the plane and we just did the thing. He's a very um, talented young man that I met um, in West Philadelphia. And he's a very close friend of mine and he gave me a lot of inspiration to do what I do. And thanks for the thanks for the passport, I'm good. <laughs> All you want. <laughs> to meeting uh, Gerald Beasley and The Roots and Jamal Dean Takuma, Kenny Kellum. I've also had the opportunity uh, to work with my mentor, uh, Bayard Lancaster, who did things in um, the Philadelphia prison systems and, and different churches around Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And he's been an inspiration uh, keeping me on the case with the music. Also, we have um, Mama Nia Bay. She's a very, very, very talented sister from West Philadelphia. She has a group of her own also. Um, and like I said, you know, they they saw me playing somewhere in Philadelphia because I'm a Philadelphia musician and I played all around the places in the subways, on the rooftops, for nickels, dimes, and quarters, and things like that. So they saw me somewhere and asked me to come to participate with their unit. And we came together, we gelled, and we made a very, very, very good uh, unit. It was very tight, and um, everything was beautiful. So everything just fell in place. Bob, Bob, Bobby Crowder, he's a well-renowned percussionist. Uh, they have a statue of him in Uganda. So I had the pleasure of working with these guys, and they really um, made me feel like I was on their caliber and made me feel right at home and built up my confidence and it really made me feel good knowing that I was best with working with these, with these cats on this uh, caliber. Here we're doing some um, some arrangements of a song that's put together by the Griots. It's just a musical, um, a musical tune, a feel type of thing, you know, spontaneous. And it's got a good feel, and we just, you know, we just put together and improv and did what we had to do, and it came across spiritually. You know, when music starts happening, it just happens. You know, you can't plan it. You just have to go on and do what you have to do. It just comes out the way it comes out, and most of the time it comes out right. It comes out wrong when you plan it. So it was a spiritual thing that really happened, and it was a groovy situation. I mean, we did the Moore's uh, Jazz Festival in Dusseldorf, Germany. So uh, what I'm saying is music is very, a very, very uh, spontaneous and spiritual thing. It helps you feel good, makes you feel good. I like to make people dance and have a good time. Eat, drink, dance, and be happy. <laughs> and it'll be to be continued. That's the name of the band, to be continued. And it shall be continued. <laughs>